So as my vacation is coming to a close, I'm pretty happy with what I've been able to do while I was on vacation. You can see two of my projects, one running the water and then otherwise the beam behind me right here that we put on in the kitchen and dining room that video from last week. If you haven't watched it, I'll put a link in the description. We also had some relaxing time. As you can tell, I stripped a little bit of wire. I didn't film it all because it's just, it's just too, too, too much work to move the camera all the time between each bay. But I got that moved. And one thing I wanted to show you guys, I did get a toolbox. People have been asking if I don't have anything for security for my tools. I did get a toolbox. I still need to get a chain so I can hook it up to the house. clean up this area so that I can install the water heater and all the plumbing for it. So goal for today is to run some of the water where it's supposed to be. The hardest thing about running packs, the stiffness of those tubes, um, especially the one inch tube that I'm using, three quarter inch and half inch is not too bad. You can bend it pretty easily, but the one inch tube is pretty tough to work with. If you buy the rolls, they roll them up as soon as it comes off the extruder. This is all full extruded one long line and they just cut it to the to the right lengths and they put them on rolls right away and because of that as it's still warm it then has a memory that plastic of that coil and therefore it's really hard to get it nice and straight you can buy these tubes in shorter pieces too which are all straight because at that point they're just cutting it off right away and lay them if if i would buy them in the straight pieces they would only be 20 foot long so in the 20 foot long sections, I might actually have somewhere where I need 30 or 40 feet, especially when I need to make my big trunk line. And at that point, I would have to add more fittings. And every fitting that you add just slows down the flow and adds turbulences into the flow. So therefore you lose pressure. So the less fittings you can do inside of a hole or inside of your loop, the better it is. Well, and therefore, actually buying the roll and uncoiling it, straightening it out is the best, but it's obviously tough. And a second person would definitely be helpful to get this installed yourself.
anybody who's wondering what we're doing, one blue loop, the blue loop will have basically water coming from both sides so the water pressure doesn't drop as much. In the bathrooms and in the kitchen we have these manifolds and these manifolds will have small little valves right there so we can turn off the water to each faucet or appliance that we use at that moment manually if we need to fix it instead of just having that little shot of valve at the end of the line. For the hot we will have a recirculation line that basically recirculates the hot water when needed so that you don't have to wait as long for hot water. I think this was a successful day. We ran all the recirculation loops for hot and cold water. Next step, install the hot water heater, put all the valves and mini blocks into it, press the whole system and then really test it out.
So that's it for this week. Make sure to like and share the video. And I will see you next time I turn on the camera. Bye.